Okay, so um, as you all know, I have to move house again. So the owner got an offer for the house that he couldn't refuse. So instead of having 12 months there, I've just had like a couple of months. So I've had to quickly find another place. But in fact, I've found an even better place for 1,000 baht more. So it's only 50 metres down the road. Yeah, so I'm just going to go down now and shoot a bit of video in the house before I start moving tomorrow so that everyone gets an idea. I can show you what the house is like, what sort of houses you can uh, rent in Cha'am in particular, but in Thailand. There are lots of complexes like this. Fortunately, I've got a place in the same complex that I'm in now. And as I said, only 50 metres down the road. So let's have a good look at it. I don't know what the sound's going to be like on this. I'm not using the mic, I'm just using the microphone in the can. So I've actually walked past the place. So here we are. This is the place here. So it's a two bedroom place, similar to the one I'm in now. And um, I'll get the gate and the doors unlocked and uh, we'll go in and have a look. So be patient with me, I'll uh, edit this together. Yes, yeah, so this is the uh, front area of the house, same size as the last area. Actually, it's a little bit smaller because they've made the front room, the main living room, a bit smaller. I'll put all my plants here, um, table and chairs with the place, water pump, they buy water for me. Now, um, this place is immaculate, a fan for when you're sitting outside, rotating fan. There is a screen door that closes on the front area here, tinted windows so people can't really see inside what you're up to in there if I want to play up. <laughs> yeah, so this is the place, this is the front room, of course I'll put my paintings up there, I'll probably put my desk there, make a workspace there for when I'm doing my YouTube videos, next to the TV, a big TV, as big as mine, uh, 3BB internet, uh, which is uh, 1000 megabits per second, or 1 gigabit per second download. I've brought a little bit of my stuff here already. There's a nice uh, comfortable looking leather looking sofa, a couple of chairs, although they're covered in plastic I'll never sit in those unless I put something over them. So there's plenty of space here, a little coffee table, a nice little uh, thing there to put all my books and uh, tricks in. So we go through, again, it's a sealed, a really sealed door. There's no air con in this room, but I've sat in here on a really hot day. Even now, it's not really hot, and the fan is spectacular. It works really, really well. I'm just going to close this uh, screen door so that no flies or mosquitoes get in while I'm shooting the video. Okay, so let's go and have a look upstairs. Well, we'll have a look downstairs first. Okay, so I've got my outer island there, which I haven't even unpacked yet because there's no waves around here. There may be sometime. Nice stairs again, well set stairs so you don't trip, correctly ste um, stepped. Uh, there's a first aid cabinet. It's got uh, numerous items in it. I don't know what this is, a little drawer of some kind. Oh yeah, yeah, first aid cabinet, you know, there's everything here. Under the stairs here, we've got um, a fire extinguisher, uh, plenty of storage in here, a stool, some mats, a little uh, step ladder thing. Okay, so that's the storage. 
Okay, so there's really nothing space, just a walkway through to the kitchen. This is the um, downstairs bathroom. Actually has an exhaust fan, that's fantastic. Not that I'll be having extremely hot showers or anything, but it's really clean. Uh, it's nice. Oh, there's a little thing there to put all your uh, tricks and gadgets in. Well, there's even a shelf up there above the door that you can put stuff on. Yeah, so not too bad. And the kitchen, the kitchen is fantastic. It's really huge. Let me step it out for you. Okay, so we've got three tiles to a meter. Uh, I think three tiles to a meter. So one, two, three, four, five, yeah, six meters by six meters by one, two, three, four, six meters by four and a bit. Really nice um, uh, little dining set, timber chairs and a uh, marble top, terrazzo top table. Don't really like them that dark, but I won't be sitting in here eating much. I usually eat out in the living room. Uh, what looks like a uh, fairly new uh, automatic washing machine. As you can see, there's a rice cooker, there's crockery, there's glasses, a really nice uh, uh, washing up area here. Plenty of room to hang things up and stuff like that. There's a microwave, there's a toaster, there's a western style uh, gas cooktop. Gas bottle is in under there. An electric oven. Uh, a really good fridge. Freezer, that's my stuff in the freezer. Okay, and she's even uh, bought water for me, so there's water there. I've got a jug of water in there as well that I filled from these. Uh, this is a really good thing to fill up your water jug from your water bottles. Yeah, so a really good kitchen. All in all, a really nice house. I'm really pleased with it. Empty cupboard. Uh, here we have some saucepans uh, uh, for cooking. Got a little bit of stuff myself. Here we have uh, crockery, plenty of uh, crockery here in the place. This might be a bit dark because I'm using the GoPro. Oh look, uh, plastic storage containers. In here we've got uh, yeah, dessert bowls, whatnot. Yeah, here some more bowls, some serving bowls, a nice decorative jug. She's so neat this lady. You might be SED, look at the rubber bands in the thing there. Yes, there's uh, cutlery as well. Have some of that myself. Oh, glad wrap, fantastic. You know, all sorts of stuff here. This place is like uh, complete plastic bags for your rubbish. Uh, down here we've got uh, chopping board and some strainers. Just really complete this place, really complete. I'm so happy with it. Uh, here we've got like, uh, this is like uh, an Asian or um, you know, they have them in Indonesia and in Thailand here, I'm sure. Uh, I don't, I've never seen many in Australia. You fill them up with water, plug them in. They keep the water hot all the time. Little button here, you press pump, and it fills up your glass or your cuppa with um, hot water. Also a kettle, another little bin. Uh, there's even some uh, tissue paper here. <coughs> My fishing rods that I haven't got around to using yet. Okay, so we'll have a look upstairs. Okay, so uh, very airy because there's a lot of vents and stuff in this place and you've got this really nice airy stairwell. Creates some um, plenty of air moving around so the place doesn't get too hot. So let's look at your room. Let's look at your room first. This is the spare room, has an air con. Not much of a view out the back, the same as my place up the road up there. Views on at the places in the street round the back. Uh, two single beds. Could easily move them together and make a double bed. A wardrobe. Not a bad looking wardrobe, plenty of space. Oh, there's a blanket there. Not that you ever use blankets here. There's a few blankets in there. An iron. Uh, yeah, so, you know, keys for the wardrobe. So, it's 
Have a look, this is the upstairs bathroom, the main bathroom. It's uh, shocking pink and blue, but it's okay. It's really nice and clean. Really nice and clean. Oh, it has like a tap there for filling up buckets and stuff like that. It's got the hot water system. Uh, toilet, of course, everywhere has a toilet. The toilet's clean. Nice cabinet underneath the, um, with cleaning items, underneath the, uh, the wash basin. We won't look at that bloke in the mirror. Yeah, so, uh, nice bathroom, nice and clean. Okay, so, I'll turn the lights on in the main room. So this is the main bedroom. Okay, this will be my room. And as you can see, king size bed. Uh, this washing rack will go out on the veranda. Uh, I doubt very much I'll ever do any washing upstairs here. So the curtains open up like the last place. It's got uh, screen doors and an aluminium locking door. Pretty sure these windows are tinted. Uh, it gets a little bit of afternoon sun here, but not too much. So this place is not going to get too hot. I've got some kind of parabola TV. I think that's to do with the uh, internet company. Really nice wardrobe with lots of space, blankets, uh, a guling, what we call in Indonesia a guling, the long round pillow. Cock your leg over when you're really hot in bed at night or when you're really lonely. <laughs> okay, so plenty of wardrobe space. Okay, plenty of wardrobe space. Got a safe, which is uh, a great idea. Got my valuables and uh, other stuff in there. And some drawers. Yeah, so all in all, and it's a really nice uh, room. It's got a fan, it's got aircon. Uh, I'll change the lighting to LED lighting, although it looks like it may be LED lighting already. It's a lot cheaper than those little fluoro things. Uh, this for when I um, do my makeup when I want to go out and play Ladyboy on Saturday nights. <laughs> I know you love that, Glenn Watts. Yeah, a washing basket. It's just got everything. It's the place is complete. Really, it's complete. I, I noticed there's even some new toothbrushes in the packs downstairs. So there's toothbrushes. Comes with toothbrushes and everything, man. Yeah. So moving tomorrow. Now. The last place cost me, um, what did I say it cost me the last place? I'm pretty sure the last place, it's 7,000 baht a month, 739 baht for the internet and about 15 to 1600 baht for electricity. They haven't charged me for water yet. Anyway, so this one is 1,000 baht more, and the place is so much better. So much better. I am so happy with it. Yeah, so, um, and I've got a one year contract, so there's no selling the place and dumping me out on the street. So I'm gonna be very happy with that. I've even got a fan up here in the kitchen there, rotators. Um, so as you can see, they have a lot of these in uh, Thailand and they, they rotate around the room. A lot of them, they have overhead ones and they have ones that sit on the wall, but yeah, they're really good. They really spread cool air right around the room. Very nice indeed. Yeah, so as you can see, place is like totally complete. I, I like it, I'm really happy with it and it's a good price. I'm paying 8,000 baht a month same price for my internet and the electricity will be I'm taking some saving steps with the electricity so the electricity won't be as expensive as the last place so a really nice place 8,000 baht works out at around um, 360 bucks Australian so yeah about two what about uh, 360 bucks Australian so about um, 280, 260 US, I guess. But yeah, so almost the same price as the last place I had. I have a few less expenses now, so I can afford it on my pension. 
and uh, it's the quiet end of the street. I've met the neighbours across the road, they're really, really nice people. And so, yeah, I'll uh, lock it up now because I move tomorrow. But I just wanted to shoot a little bit of video and show you the place before I actually moved in here. So, I'll, I'll put all the information about it in the information uh, box under the video when I edit it and get it up on YouTube. I haven't done any YouTube videos for a while. I'm sorry, I've been really busy. I've uh, got this move laid on me. I'll, that knocked me back a peg a couple of days. Sort of uh, got a little bit depressed about that. Not too depressed, but a little bit, but I got over it. I didn't get angry. I mean, you know, what's the point of being angry about it? Anger is only punishing yourself for someone else's actions. So, yeah, but uh, when I found the place, all that uh, disappointment and slight depression went away, so I'm really happy with it now. And uh, once I move in and get settled again in a week or two, probably the second week, I'll start, uh, I've got a couple of YouTube videos in the editing suite ready to pump out. So I'll get those out and I'll get this one out about the house. And then, uh, cause I'm also going through the process at the moment, I've got to get a new passport. So I had to go to Bangkok and apply for that. And I've got to go back to Bangkok and pick it up when it arrives. Should be next week sometime. And then I've got to do my visa extension. So I've been very, very busy with a lot on my mind. So I do apologize for not putting any videos out. But once all that's done, uh, you can look forward to uh, Thailand Dreaming. Thailand Dreaming videos being pumped out again on YouTube and I'll be doing some traveling. I'll be heading up north in Thailand. I'm gonna go to um, Khao Yai, nice national park with some waterfalls and rivers and whatnot, stuff like that. And I'm gonna go up to uh, Korat and then uh, I'm going to go to uh, uh, Mahasarakam, I'm going to go up to Konkan, yeah so we'll have some more videos out shortly. So that's the house folks, so yeah for your interest this is what you can get in Thailand for around 360 bucks a month Australian, 8,000 baht. <clears throat> I'll do the calculations later, the rate changes every day and um, yeah so I'm quite happy with it and uh, it gives you an idea of what you can get here and there's dozens of those houses in this complex alone that are empty. Normally this place would be around 12 to 14,000 baht a month because there's no people at the moment. It's better to get someone in paying a cheaper rate than it is to have the house empty. And she's quite happy to have someone here for a year now solid so and getting rent. So that's it. And that'll be my address. 